Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video, we are going to talk about child of bone constraint. So this constraint adds a parent child relationship between the constraint bone and the target bone. So let's see this constraint in action. So in this case, I have this armature over here and inside that armature, I have the bones and one separate bone. So I would like to keep this bone separated for some reasons that I have. And then I want it to be child of bone number two, but I also want it to be toggleable like I want it to be the child for few frames and then I want it not to be the child of the bone number two uh, after that so in that case you could use a really handy constraint which is child of bone constraint now over here I just have to select the armature and then I have to select uh, which bone I want to be my parent. So I want bone number two to be my parent as the constraint is on bone number three. This will act the child of the target bone number two. So I hope this is simple to understand. Now, as you can see, we have few options over here, the location, rotation and scale. So whenever you parent something to something, it will take its location, rotation and scale. Uh, but in this way, you have the option to make sure that it only takes one thing. And as you can see that as soon as I changed the removed the um, rotation and scale, uh, this thing went way up there. So to fix that, you have to click on set inverse and it will get back to its original position. OK, so now let's see how this constraint works. So I'm going to turn on the rotation and scale and I'm going to set inverse again. So let's go and select our bone number two and let's rotate it. So as you can see, the rotation is working like the bone is taking the rotation. And if I move the bone over there, as you can see, the bone is moving with it, the bone number three. And if I scale it, it is working as well. So if I now select this and remove the location and a rotation, so I'm only keeping the rotation. So now if I rotate it, you'll see that my bone is definitely taking the rotation from my bone number two, but the location and scale are not working anymore. OK, so now let's turn on both of them again and set inverse. OK, now as you can see, influence slider, if I make it zero, then it is as good as that this constraint is not acting right now. So it is disabled so you can keyframe animate this influence slider and make things parent and unparent at any given moment so let's keep it like that and now let's uh, see if we can parent the armature another armature to this bone to any of these bones so i'm going to go into the pose mode and select bone number a let's add the child of bone constraint and let me select this armature but now as you can see that it didn't select so click on this drop down and select the armature and now you need to select which bone do you want this constraint to be i want my bone number two to be the parent and as you can see that this bone suddenly went uh, over there so all i'm going to do is just click on set inverse and it got back to its original position so it added all the necessary offsets that it had to add in all these three transforms. So yeah, now if I go back and if I go back into the pose mode and if I rotate this, as you can see that it is acting like it is parented to it. Uh, I can even move it and I can even scale it. Also, one more thing. Now, if you even move the armature itself, the whole armature, that bone is still going to be following this bone. So if you just want it to follow the armature, you can totally remove the bone socket from over there. And I just have to click set inverse. Now it will follow the armature, but it will no longer follow the bone itself. So if I rotate the bone, it is not following. So yeah, it is actually better to have at least one bone selected in the hierarchy like this and just set it inverse. OK, so this constraint was pretty simple to understand. But what was not simple to understand was all of these other constraints. So I have talked about them in their own separate video. Playlist link will be in the description below. And after watching the video, if you still have some doubts, you can ask them in the comment section or you can join the Discord server that I have made. So I will be available there as much as I can and I will solve your problems if you have any. So yeah, join the Discord server. And if you want to support the channel and support me making more such videos, you can either support me on Ko-fi or you can for free subscribe, like and share this video. And yeah, hope this video helped in your projects. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.